So um, this center is um, just where we, if you're aligned with the aspects of positivity within your legacy and your lineage, the things you can achieve in your life are like astronomically amazing. Um, you're more solid and you're like in a space of neutrality, even if things appear stressful or maybe you feel pressured to do something that doesn't have integrity and the negative influences or can be from your family of origin and the programming within the surroundings surroundings around you and we lose our focus and then when we lose our focus in what our personal or our spiritual gifts are that are unique to each and every one of us we create this chaos of vulnerability. And I feel like this 10th energy center again, because what's happening with the outer planets, the organic planets and our physical selves, we're going back in time space to clear up the lineage of disruption that we created in another lifetime within our family line. I hope that makes sense. And again, this is just how I see things. It's If it doesn't resonate with you, that's totally fine. But when we clear our energy self of these inheritances that we really don't want and they're bringing up that emotional bubbling of chaos, we can cleanse our genetic line and access the ability to just achieve the destiny of our spiritual beingness. So um, this energy center actually awakens in a couple different times during time and space when we come into the earth plane. It's actually before we're born, it's preconception. So it would be in astrology like the lunar eclipse. That's kind of um, an aspect of who we are that a lot of astrologers don't talk about, but it's like your secret gift, your secret spice that you come in with. 